Hey, this is Ektai, and welcome to another Ektos Special Report. Um, yeah, it has been quite a while since my previous video upload. And for that, I really do apologize to everyone, especially my regular viewers, supporters, subscribers, and fans. But I do have a good excuse, I mean reason for that, and that is that this semester has been a complete hell for me. It's, it's just essay after essay after paper after project for me, and this past week featured all the deadlines for most of them. I was so stressed out that after all that was over and done with, I fell sick for a couple of days with a horrendous fever. Uh, thankfully, as evidenced by this uh, video and my voice, I'm pretty much cured at this point in time. Uh, so, updates-wise, yes. Firstly, a big thank you to all you guys for continuing to watch, subscribe, and comment on my channel. It must have happened a while back, but I just realized that I passed the 6,000 subscriber mark. Thank you very, very much. Uh, right now, I'm still reviewing stuff, and you guys will definitely see many, many, many more reviews coming along. Especially after the week, after the following week, which is the week of my finals. Did that make any sense at all? To give you a quick preview, here are some of the figures that I've currently been amassing. So over here in this part of the room, let's see what we have going on. Uh, this one is actually a limit, uh, online store exclusive Charlotte Plush from Madoka. Don't really want to review anything as of yet. Her review will be coming soon. And you can just over see over here like the number of figmas that have been accumulating and this is literally a physical manifestation of like all the backlog I've yet to clear. Uh, we have here Figma Kamijo Toma from Index. His review will be coming up very, 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 very shortly. Figma Kaiji. Now, this one was a surprise when he was announced. Kaiji is an absolutely brilliant series. It is a psychological gambling series, so I guess if you enjoy uh, anime that makes you think like Death Note and uh, stuff like that. Kaiji is also an underdog, and if you like those series, you will definitely enjoy Kaiji. Highly, highly recommended. I absolutely love it. The Figma figure itself is phenomenal especially in terms of the accessories because this guy is jammed packed with stuff literally speaking you can you you can recreate any scene from the first season with the accessories that are provided brilliant stuff we have here figma Chris Makise, Makise Chris, or as she's uh, more affectionately known figma Christina from Steins Gate and some Bakemonogatari figmas over here. Figma um, Mayoi Hachikuji, Hachikuji Mayoi. Figma Araragi, and the main protagonist of Bakemonogatari. And Figma Suruga Kambaru. She's actually one of my, I would say, favorite characters from the Bakemonogatari series, just based on her personality. And the Figma figure itself is also quite impressive. As you can see, she comes with a ton of accessories, uh, most notably the Rainy Devil raincoat and exchangeable face and arms. So literally, you can get two figures in one. Uh, with this Figma figure. Figma Kirino Kosaka, Kosaka Kirino uh, from the Ore no Imoto ga Konani Kaori Wake ga Nai. I'm not really a big fan of Kirino, but I mainly got her because of the completest me, the completest in me yelled out and just wanted both Kirino, Figma's Kirino and Kuroneko. Kuroneko is actually my favorite character, my favorite female character from the series. I think uh, second would be Manami, is that her name? Yeah, I think so. Unfortunately, it's kind of ironic because I've yet to get Figma Kuroneko at this point in time uh, due to the constant lack of funds. I really do hope to get her very, very shortly. And uh, this one has been sitting around for quite a while. Uh, Figma Mikuru Asaina adult version and she is I do believe one of the last Figma Haruhi Figma figures that uh, I have yet to review or that I want to review but I can't really find a good opportunity to review this Figma figure perhaps next year during Tanabata I have no idea but uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see
And over here we have actually some Pantheon stocking figures. Uh, quite a funny series to be honest. Uh, but I skipped out on the Nandroid figures because as you guys know I'm not really a big fan of the whole uh, chibi aspect of the Nandroids. Unless for instance like uh, let's say Sora no Toshimono where, she's act where Icarus is actually seen in chibi form. And that's why I will be getting her Nandroid figure. This one is, uh, this is the Pantheon stocking completed PVC figure set. I really want to review this but unfortunately as you can see the packaging is the kind where once you open it it's impossible to put back so I'm really really reluctant uh, to open this which is really really it would be really really a shame because as you can see the packaging is just so beautiful and this one is the uh, Scanty and Knee Socks Scanty and Knee Socks with fastener. Yeah, that's that's the one. Scanty and Knee Socks with fastener set. And this one is another Figma figure that I've been sitting on for quite some time. Figma Shamimaru Shamimaru Aya from Toho. My absolute favorite character from Toho uh, because of mainly because of her of the game. I love playing as her in Toho. Ah, I can't remember. Is it 6.5 or 9.5? I think it's 9.5. Shoot the bullet. That's the one. Ah, uh, absolutely brilliant character design and Figma figure. Uh, again, I can't really find any time to review her, but I would really, really hope to, would really like to do so very, very soon. Mm. Ah, this guy, yes. I know a ton, a ton, a ton of people have been requesting me to do a review on this guy. This is the Japanese uh, Warp Digivolving Bielsemon figure. The box is over here, as you can see. Uh, surprisingly very 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 cheap I managed to get him like only for 10 20 bucks of uh, Yahoo Auctions Japan which was a real surprise and no actually it's not a real surprise because just to be frank um, in some ways it is better than the US version but in others it's not and this is one of the rare occasions where I would actually give the point give most of the points to the US version yeah we'll be doing a review of this soon I promise just hold your horses be patient and it will come when it comes yeah and that's just the tip of the iceberg other than that I also haven't been replying to my private messages and comments on my channel as of late due to the reasons stated above uh, one of these days I will get down to replying to you all I do appreciate the time and effort that you take to write into me and I do read each and every one of your comments and messages thank you very much all of your messages and comments mean the world to me also because of my schoolwork I haven't been updating my blog either uh, for those of you who don't know I do have a blog at the following address actar.wordpress.com where I not only post the high quality versions of each video reviews title card but I also do loot posts opinion articles on various pertinent issues in the anime community such as uh, liberal versus literal translations and uh, age look and lolly and sometimes even figure photo reviews of completed PVC figures Again, I sincerely apologize to all my blog readers and followers. Uh, at this moment, I have quite a few interesting topics that I want to write about and I will be getting to them very, very soon. In fact, at this very moment, I'm working on a completely independent Actars Reviews website. It is mostly finished, but it still requires a ton of minor tweaks and fixes with uh, regards to the importation of previous posts and other stuff. I shall be posting a video about it when it is completed. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for updates on Actars Reviews, and now on to the second topic. It's November, and that means that it's that time of the year again. The time where most students are bogged down by deadlines, exams and requirements, and of course, the time when AFA 11 is held. Sadly, this year, I will only be able to attend the second day of the event due to unforeseen circumstances. But this year, I will be going with friends and family, hence accounting for the inordinate number of tickets. It is however fortunate that I will be able to go on the second day as a movie that I have been really wanting to watch, Sora no Otoshimono, 
時仕掛けのエンジェロイド、or 空の落とし物、a clockwork エンジェロイド、will be screened during the event. A really good move on AFA's part, I feel, and honestly, a blessing to Singaporean anime fans like me, who otherwise would have to wait until the release of the DVDs and Blu-rays. Knowing the release schedules of Japanese DVDs and Blu-rays, that would be 6 to 8 months after the movie is screened in Japan. It is sad though that I would not be able to attend the live dubbing session by Homo Homo Seiyu, Saito Chiwa, but I do take solace in the fact that even if I did attend, I wouldn't have any opportunity of meeting her or getting her autograph. If the previous AFA's handling of the Seiyus were anything to go by. Damn you, Lucky Jaw System! I really do envy the New York Anime Festival and the meet and greet slash signing session with Chihara Minori that they had. I really do want my replica Homo Homo Soul Gem to be signed by her, but、um, oh well. So close, yet so far. Again, just like with previous years, I will not attend any of the concerts due to the prices of the tickets, which are somewhat on the high side.、Uh, this year, they do have a pretty phenomenal listing,、uh, what with、uh, Flo, who was involved with Code Geass, Eureka 7, and Kalafina, who sang the ending team to Madoka and many, many others coming down. Might be more inclined to take the plunge if a signing session with the artist of your choice was guaranteed, and I would also gladly take the plunge if they invited some of my favorite singers slash seiyu like、uh, Chihara Minori and Mizuki Nana. That being said, I really do have to commend them for being able to get better and better at the special guest selection. Aside from the voice actors and singers, we also have a whole host of producers, screenwriters, and the like coming down to share with us more insights into the anime that they produce, which I think is phenomenal.、Uh, featured anime this year are Madoka, Anohana, and Fate Zero, and a couple of others. Speaking of people involved in the production of anime, this year, thanks to my university, I have an opportunity to attend the Cool Japan Forum on Friday, the 11th of November. It's basically an event bringing together the most influential people in the Japanese popular culture industry. This year, amongst a couple of others, we have the renowned Mikimoto Haruhiko attending. If you're a fan of Macross, Macross Do You Remember Love, or Macross 7 and don't know his name, you should hang your head in shame. Haruhiko Mikimoto is none other than the character designer for those series. Some of our childhood heroes like Hikaru, <coughs> Rikanta, <coughs> Minmei, Misa, Basara, and Milane were created by him. For you non Macross fans, he also works on a ton of other famous works such as Gunbuster, Gundam, Orgus, and Megazone 23. And while I won't confirm anything at this point, I might be getting a chance to meet him in person later this week, so fingers crossed. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that I have left to say? Uh, well, if you guys happen to be there on the 11th or the 13th, do stop by and say hi. I don't really have many opportunities to get together with other like minded fans in real life, so I would really love to chat with you guys. I can't really think of anything special to wear, so I guess I'll be sticking to the good old Haruhi Dancho Amben. Lastly, let me just say that I have many, many, many big things planned for Act Class reviews, and this is hardly the end. Especially come next year's AFA, where I really hope to be playing a bigger part than just a passive con attendee. Also, if everything goes according to plan, and if the fates align, I will be heading to Japan next year to attend the Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha the movie second movie premiere. So, the Zacta saying, see you guys in the next episode.